you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the new content. So we got veterans and the Team of the Week reveal. So, so far, we do not know if Team of the Week will be out at 1030 or if it's just being revealed. But... I am watching the stream, so I'm pre-recording this part right here, so you guys are going to see this first, and then you guys are going to see potentially either the new Team of the Weeks in pack. So they did announce the first Team of the Week. It is Dalvin Cook. I believe that is the Mast, and if you guys remember anything from last year, Tyreek Kill was the Mast last year. He was like an 89 overall wide receiver, fantasy, you know, green card. You guys always remember what the, um, the Team of the Week cards look like. They're green, green flash, light green, though, not dark green like veterans. And if you guys remember anything, that Tyreek Hill was a glitch. He was very expensive. He was like 400k for a while. So I imagine Dalvin Cook would be pretty expensive. He does that. He is pretty fast. I think he can't get evasive. So he's Mark and Allen, Marcus Allen-esque. So that's pretty cool. And for the new veterans, we've got... Oh, I'm choked up. we got Garrett Blunt. And we got, I believe, Clay Matthews. So these are pretty cool drops so far. So I kind of like that we have a dual content video drop because that makes it a little more interesting, a little more I can talk about for the duration of this video. Now, Team of the Week, if it does indeed drop today, would be pretty cool. It will affect, it will shake up the market. It will, it will drop solos. Make sure you play those solos. We typically those get you guys tokens and free Team of the Week cards. So there's going to be quite a bit to go over if these do drop. And if they don't drop, we still got the veteran cards and we're still going to get the reveal. Either way, we're going to have either information about it that I can get, fill you guys in everything or we're going to have the actual physical content. I'd imagine it'd be weird if they dropped it today, though that's usually more like a Tuesday thing or like first day of the season. Like, stuff, like right after preseason ends, but like... If they do decide to do it today, that is pretty cool. Although I'm not sure if they will. They might just reveal everything, and then I'll obviously have that all for you guys in this video. So either way, we're, you guys will be covered no matter what. Now, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Smack the sub button. We are at about 7.2k subs. So we're, we're grinding out there to 8k. We got that 10k subscriber special coming for you guys around the first or second week of September with another YouTuber. We also got quite a few other things in store so if you're new and you're enjoying the content smack the sub button also make sure to go down below like the video let's get this video to 150 likes being that it is the team of the week content video and comment down below what you think of these cards so i mean in my personal opinion legarant blunt is going to be probably pretty good he's going to be on the slower side he's going to be a nice trucking back maybe put him at fullback clay matthew's going to be way too slow i don't know how i'm going to feel about that card now dalvin cook does look insane this dalvin cook if it drops so he looks like he's marcus allen he's got a high speed and get evasive He's elusive back. He's looking like a baby Marcus Allen and maybe even better considering he is a higher overall. So I'd imagine that if you power him up all the way, you're probably one of the best backs in the game. Now, obviously not Bo Jackson, but he'll definitely be right there in terms of the best backs in the game. Now, we're almost at 1030, so I'm going to get back to the stream, watch a little bit more so I can have the rest of you guys in this video. So stay tuned for all that, guys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video. All right, guys, so they have announced everything. I'm currently looking for the new veteran cards at the moment. And... So they have announced the Masters. There's Dalvin Cook and Bradley Chubb as the Team of the Week Masters. I'm seeing if I can find these vets up. I do not see them yet, so I'm going to go right to the Team of the Week stuff. So let's go check the sets, see if there's anything there. Obviously, they usually drop Team of the Week sets. They are not up yet, but the solos are up, so we can go over those, and I can't go over the players. So Dalvin Cook and Bradley Chubb. Bradley Chubb is an awesome. I believe he's in a right end. What was he left end? I don't really know. We'll see in a second, but... Bradley Chubb is going to be an awesome defensive master. That is awesome. And Dalvin Cook is an evasive back. So that's really cool as it is. Now we do have the solos. So we come up here to team of the week. Take on the newest team of the week. This updates every week during the regular season features the best performances of this week's game. It ends 9-10, so September 10th at 10-30. So make sure you guys play these solos because you get a team of the year token. Now this is the preseason. So if I remember correctly, you have to do every regular season team of the week solo to get a team of the year player at the end of the year. Now I believe the preseason is an extra one. I believe that in essence, you need 17 weeks, but the first preseason one is like an extra token, if I remember correctly, because you only need 17. I don't think the preseason one counts as one that you need, but I highly recommend you do it in case you do. So I would definitely 100% recommend you play this solo. So we go into milestones. You get a gold plus team of the week player for tier two, a team of the year token for tier one. So I'd play it because in years past, the way they typically run this, right, is weeks one through 17, there is a team of the week solo. You need 17 tokens total to approximately get your player now typically the preseason one is an extra one so in case you miss one of the team of the weeks you have this extra one and then before team of the year comes out they typically do solos where you can get extra ones right when it comes out so like they'll do like a three solo challenges where you get three tokens so if you miss up to three weeks you can typically get those and then the tier one here is another one so that could be potentially four extras in case you miss any but do not bank on that do not bank on ea being that nice and giving us extra opportunities so 
If I were you guys, I'd definitely play these solos now as soon as you can. Tier 3 is 1,000, so you only need 10, uh, 10 stars, so I imagine it's pretty short. There is preseason Dalvin Cooks. You see him right there on the right. Pretty cool pretty cool art right there. Pretty cool, um, you know, interface for the team of the week. And then you right here, you see Bradley Chubb. Now, it sees it's a full game. So, Miami native Dalvin Cook took the Vikings to a running start this preseason, scoring a rushing touchdown nearly 90 yards, rushing in two carries. Tried to outrush him. So, it starts in the third quarter. So, these are not full game solos. So that is awesome. Now, you need a total of 10 stars. So you have to play these on hard, and you have to get the bonus ones too. So, that's the only way you could do it. So, you have to play them on hard. Remember that. Do not play them on anything else. You need the bonus. So, play them on hard. You're going to need one rushing touchdown or more and 88 yards. So, pretty much... Not really that hard. Highly recommend you go to Concept Inside Zone. Just run Inside Zone to the right the whole game. It's a very easy running play for me or Zone or RPO Zone, which a lot of people like to run. So 88 yards or more, one rushing touchdown. It's pretty much you just got to run the whole field, score one time, and then just run the ball out after that for the rest of the game. It is going to be on hard difficulty, so if your team not isn't too good, it might take you a few attempts. Now, Bradley Chubb is linebacker. Bradley Chubb had a tremendous game against the 49ers this preseason. His QB pressure resulted in panic throws that led to interceptions and pass breakups. He recorded three tackles and a strip sack to boot. This starts in the third quarter with four minutes left again, down by 11. So you need to win the game. So you also have to score twice. So you need to get one or more sacks and three or more user tackles. Three or more user tackles isn't going to be so hard. Pretty much just switch to whoever's going to tackle. So if you see them in the backfield and your linebacker gets back there for a sack or something, switch to click B, or if you're on PlayStation, click circle, switch right to the car, um, the player that's going to tackle and make the tackle. Now, for as far as sacks, just blitz. I recommend doing pinch buck or pinch dog zone. Either one will work. Get a quick, easy sack. This should be a very like a simple challenge to play, but remember, you do need a total of 10 stars to get everything. So if you just want the token, if you just want the token, that's fine. You only have to play it on easy. But if you do want the Team of the Week player, which I highly recommend, because if you guys want to do these sets, if you get a Gold Plus Team of the Week player, could you pull the boss from that? I don't know. But if you can pull the boss, which I don't think you can, but if you could, that'd be awesome. But if not, you could pull a high elite. You could still pull a high elite from the set, which would be pretty awesome as it is. So I highly recommend you guys play it on at least, you need at least six stars. So I mean, if you just play one on hard and one on easy, that's fine. The 10 stars is for the 1,000 coins. Now, no money spent teams, I feel like that 1,000 coins would definitely help, plus the bonuses. But if you guys do want to just get these done, you only need three stars from each. So that pretty much means you can play them on easy and do the bonus challenges, that's it. Or just play the offensive ones easy. So the offensive one, you can play on easy, do the bonus challenges. And then the defensive one, I'd play on, um, I mean, you can play the offensive one on hard and get every all five stars and then just play the defensive one on one star because... Three or more user tackles and one sack will be a little more rare because you might need to get a sack and if your team's not that good. CPUs don't tend to get sacked as easily because they don't have to throw it away and stuff. They're not computer, they're not like user players who know how to not do that. Now remember, the Team of the Week token is extremely important, extremely important. So let's go over to the set now and see if there's any sets in the game yet. So let's go over to it. There should be a Team of the Week set. Yeah, there it is. Team of the Week set. Earn every, each Team of the Week hero and exchange Team of the Week players for higher overall one. So there's four sets. There's Dalvin Cook, Offensive Hero, Defensive Hero, Bradley Chubb, 79 to 82 overall exchange, 83 to 85 exchange. So Dalvin Cook. So the high elite here is Deshaun Watson. That is awesome. So we got a Deshaun Watson right here. He is not on the block just yet, but I imagine he's going to be pretty, pretty good, which means he should be getting a power up in some time soon. We got Brian Burns, Deshaun Sheed, Jacoby Myers, James Washington, Mac Wilson, Will Harris, Tanner Hudson, Daniel Jones, my boy, Giants QB got one, Nate Orchard, Mike Boone, and Jermaine Grace. Now, Deshaun Watson is going to be an awesome card, so that could, that could be a nice no-money-spent budgie type quarterback, but he will be expensive at the, fir at the first moment the game drops because he will indeed be the top piece for Dalvin Cook. Now, if he does get a power-up, you could use a power-up past 85 to 86 on him, which would be really cool. He is not on the block yet. Now, this Dalvin Cook is an 89 overall. Let's go see the Bradley Chubb set. So, oh, same, oh, same card. So, they're not doing like defensive and offensive separately, which I kind of figured because I saw Brian Burns and Sheed. But that's pretty cool. So they do work for both of them. So you don't have to pull separate ones. So if you pretty much pull any of them, you get to pick which ones you want to go for. Now the 72, 79 to 82 exchange is really good because if you do happen to get five, if you get some Nat cards or anything, you can toss them into here, get yourself a nice 82 overall player potentially. Now here for the 83 to 85 exchange, this is typically when you have a few extra elites, you can exchange it for an 83 to 85. Typically these kind of even out though These aren't exactly a method of getting them cheaper because typically if it is an 83 to 85 overall Let's say they go for like 70 80k the 79 to 82 will probably go for 10k each So it kind of equals out at the end of the day anyways Now let's go check the block to see if any of the veterans or the team of the weeks are up Let's go to auctions and if we come over here, we will see indeed hopefully something up I'm um, check the I'm um, check the veterans real quick. Just see if any of those are up Let's see newest 
So the veteran, oh, Clay Matthews is up right here. So he does have a 78 speed, 84 excel, 80 strength, 82 tackle, 85 play rec, 82 block shed, 79 power move, and 63 finesse move. Now, these stats are horrible. Do not recommend him at all. He's too slow. He's decent at best. Decent at best, literally. Like, I can't see him being anything else than that. Now, let's come over to team of the week. Let's see if we can see any cards up. So, we do have quite a few cards up. Let's go by buy now price. So, let's see what we got. Let's see all the way at the bottom. Oh, Deshaun Watson is up. So, Deshaun Watson does have a 79 speed. Wow, his stats. I'm not even going to go over these. 79, 79, 79, 84 throw power, throw accuracy. This card is horrible. I take everything back. I just said about it. Let's, sh let's check these right here. So, we got Dalvin Cook, 89 overall halfback. Of course, he just sold, but he has 88 speed, 89 excel, 91 agility, 84 carrying. Okay, come on, let me finish him. 63 catching, 84 looseness, 72 truck, 87 break tackle. So this card, oh, it's going to be so annoying. This card does get evasive, I believe. He has 88 speed, 84 excel, 89. Oh my God, that's annoying. But this card as a whole is a beast. Let's go to Bradley Chubb for now while that one keeps selling on me. Bradley Chubb is an 82 speed, 85 excel, 89 strength, 85 tackle, 87 block shed, 87 play rack, 80 power move, 84 finesse. This card is a beast. Would I recommend him for the price? Probably not over a guy like Lawrence Taylor or a guy like Von Miller. But this card is really awesome if you do happen to get him. Let's refresh this again to see if we can find any of the other cards. So let's go to overall. Is there another Dalvin Cook up? So this is Dalvin Cook right here. So... His stats are really, really good. I highly like this card. Let's compare him to Marcus Allen. He is not better than Marcus Allen, technically, because of the trucking and the carrying, but he is up there. Let's see what his catching is. 63, so nothing special. This card is really good, though. Would I recommend him over Marcus Allen or Bo Jackson? Probably not. But, guys, these new drops are pretty good. Let's see Brian Burns. Eh, stats are okay there, too. Now, that's pretty much it. I just want to see Daniel Jones real quick before we get on out of this video. Daniel Jones does have horrible stats too. So team of the week drops a little underwhelming for the first week. The bosses are really good, but a little underwhelming on the ends of like the newest cards that are in the set. But this is a step in the right direction. We do have Deshaun Watson in the game now, guys. But that is it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to go down below. Smack the sub button. Let's get to, we're, we're a little over 7K, boys. So if you guys could so kindly smack the sub button, get us 8K as quickly as possible. Hit the like button. Because this was the first Team of the Week drop, so hit, let's get us 200 likes for this Team of the Week content. Hopefully I can have this video up pretty quickly. And comment down below what you think of these heroes. Sorry if I rushed this video a little bit. I'm trying to get this out really quickly. A little overwhelmed with all the new news. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.